Alright Fox, this is um, this is part two of the Kinetic Pavilion tutorial. Uh, what you're seeing is a COSM um, server that I've set up. It's just an online server. Um, so if you go to COSM.com, um, I already logged in, I have my own account. Uh, but if you come in here, this will be your main page. Uh, so you have to create a new account and this most likely is going to be empty but you're still going to have a you're going to have this button that says device slash feed so first thing you want to do is click on that and you have four options over here uh, we want to set up a, a custom manual feed so just click on something else and select the first option no I will push data to Cosm hit next give it a name so I'm just going to type in whatever um, you can do uh, you can do hashtags for people if you if you're willing to share it. Uh, people are gonna be able to stream. I mean, not find you, uh, find your stream, and then just hit create. So now this is important. Don't go fi don't hit finish yet. Uh, your new feed ID and it gives you a number. So this is the number that you need to uh, you need to memorize, or even best. Uh, just write it down somewhere quickly. I'm gonna do that now. It's 131501. Then you hit finish, and you you'll see a new uh, feed that pops in on the main page. Uh, there is the plus data stream button on it. So if you click on that, and what it does, it actually creates kind of different uh, different lines of data. So let's say you want to have two values outputted, like for the kinetic pavilion, I'm, I'm using two, I'm moving two points around the perimeter, and the values are from between one and 360. Um, so basically, I'm going to give it a feed ID zero, and I'm going to call it point one, and you can call it whatever you want to call it. So if you hit plus data stream and give it a one, and call it whatever, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you scroll down make sure that it's public uh, you can type in a description put in your website or email address for people to find you if you're willing to share that um, so basically you have two uh, two lines to stream to and in your feed in the, on your pursue uh, feed or cousin to feed uh, so it hits save changes now you're seeing you can either manually edit them and type in values over here and hit save and that will be the current value set for that one or for this one um, and you know grasshopper is going to be able to read those too but the whole point of it is to actually go through a twitter and be able to tweet yourself values to cosm and update those to live and then um, grasshopper is going to be it's going to be able to read those from this uh, from this uh, server. So once you have those two values set, before we go into, I'm actually not going to show you how to do a Twitter setup because um, um, I'm just going to give you a. I'm just going to let you go to my website and have a step-by-step -step instructions over there because there's um, text that needs to be typed in. I don't want to uh, have you misunderstand it. So once you have this set up over here, those two values, your, your stream, um, if you go back to the main page, you'll see them over here. Um, next important thing is to go on the left-hand side, there's keys. So there will be another input that you will need. And once you create that, there will be the first key that's going to say read update. Uh, it's going to be created automatically for you. It's going to be there. Um, so what I want you to do is actually click on a plus key and create a new key just for that stream so call it whatever you want to call it make sure that it's public feed and you have access to read create update and delete all the data just because we might want to uh, stream values from grasshopper to that feed and then if you hit create so that will be that feed is going to be the last one on the bottom and what you need is that number over here um, it's going to be a specific number just for that feed so you can access it. Um, so now if you go back to the grasshopper let's move let's move all this stuff 
out of the way. Uh, you will need a Firefly or G How uh, plugins. I'm gonna use a Firefly just because um, uh, it has a better way of translating data and creating lists. So there's the Peshub read, and this is an old, uh, old version of the Firefly. The new and updated, the latest release of Firefly actually has this thing called Cosm, uh, just like the new server is called. Um, and for this to work, we need two. Uh, Two things: the feed URL and the I API key. Um, so let's first drop in two panels. Now, if you go back to our uh, website, the API key is the new key that we just created. So now, we'll just copy, copy that, paste it here, connect it here. Now, the feed URL. If you go back to your website, go back to the main page and click and open your, your feed. If you scroll down, you can see those three versions you can stream. It's, it's either a JSON, XML, or CSV file. We want to stream the XML file. So if you click on that and just copy that URL from the browser, paste it in here, hit OK. So make sure that you, when you, when you pasting it in it has a .xml has an extension with it connected over there and if you right click on top of the feed type make sure that's set up to xml now if we drop in another panel just to preview um, the v the min max id the message uh, the message says they're reconnected so the feed is working Here's our feed ID. So we have two two gates that we're streaming, two uh, two lines that we're streaming. And if we output the V, these are the two values that we've set up: 422 and 454. And in order to, I'm just gonna use a tree to split them up. If we draft the input, yeah. All right. So this basically we can replace now either this or this, and instead of using the sliders, we're now able to stream data from our Pushub server to control uh, our geometry. Um, if you go to my website. Um, my website is a archilab.net and if you go under blog there will be a new uh, new entry in the blog in there, uh, I believe it's going to be 2013 so I'm going to have it posted and you will be able to see a step by step instructions how to set up your uh, Twitter account to connect to a uh, to the Peshub in the meantime I can show you how it works so if I go to my account and I'm, I have a patch tweet following me, uh, so this is part of the setup. So if I send a direct message to it, and right now um, I need to go back to that. There it is. Um, it's this feed ID for each feed. So there's two values there. They're being streamed, and there's a. Uh, uh, the feed ID is something that I need in order to uh, to be able to set it from from here. So if I type in set the feed ID and then there's two values. So let's say I set one to 222, then type in comma and set another one to 136. And that just sent it. If I go back to my Twitter and refresh it, and you can actually type in uh, a timer, and it's set to one second, it's perfectly fine. So if you connect it, it will be refreshing it every one second, and there you go, it just updated 222, 136, and it moves our geometry. 
Um, so yeah, there it is. That's how it works. Um, make sure you go to my website for instructions how to connect your Twitter. Um, I'll have a specific step-by-step -step instructions over there. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and um, I'm looking forward to doing some more tutorials. And hopefully, I'll, the next one is going to be about Arduino and some servers, so we can control them from um, internet, maybe some lights and whatnot. Alright, uh, again, thanks for following, and um, make sure you visit my website.